Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about single phase and active filter in MATLAB. So this is a similar model for testing the sun active power filter in the single phase system. So this system consists of a single phase voltage source and then source inductor and this one is uh, inductive load uh, that means uh, non-linear load okay that means combination of direct rectifier and the inductive load RL load so because of this uh, non-linear -linear load so it is going to affect the uh, nature of the source current that means normally the source current will be sinusoidal so when we are connecting that uh, non-linear load in the system the source current will be non-sinusoidal so because of the non-sinusoidal reason the harmonic in the source current will be increased and also uh, that load that means uh, source will be supply more uh, reactive power okay so because of that reactive power uh, consumption right so the, the harmonic in the source will be the very high during that uh, non-linear uh, non -linear load condition so when we are going to connect to some other load right so that also going to be affected by means of this uh, non-linear load so we need to avoid that problem so in order to avoid that problem so here we have to use uh, syntactic filters or syntactic filter uh, here we are using single phase syntactic filter they are having uh, a zbitch inverter and uh, capacitor so this capacitor will be used for supplying the reactive power based upon the nonlinear load and this uh, single phase H bridge inverter will be controlled by means of this control concept so here we are using PQ control concept when PQ control concept we have to measure the capacitor voltage and capacitor voltage will be compared with the reference voltage so here we are going to maintain the voltage across that uh, capacitor will be 700 volt and then after comparing that uh, reference with the actual voltage of the capacitor then it will be processed via PA controller so PA controller will be generated the last power and then here you have to measure the source voltage and you have to measure the load current in case you have to measure the load current at the source voltage so based upon these things right so here you have to apply PQ control theory in PQ control theory you have to use three phase uh, source concept so for that here we are using transport delay for creating the three phase voltage source so this is the actual source of the system so VB and VC is generated based upon uh, delay signal okay that means here we are generating a three phase signal three phase source voltage and also here we are generating the three phase load current based upon the delay okay so based upon the source voltage three phase voltage and current so here we are calculating the uh, real and the reactive power okay so first you have to calculate alpha beta i naught and then you have to calculate load alpha current and load beta current and then here you have to calculate p and q okay so here you have to calculate p and q based upon voltage and current load current so next thing is so here we have that uh, real power okay then you have to apply low pass filter so low pass filter after applying low pass filter you have to uh, here you will get the uh, that mean average value of that uh, real power and then you have to take the actual uh, real power that means you have to filter out that uh, real power okay and then this output of filter right it going to be compared with the last power so here you have to compare last power so this is based upon the uh, capacitor voltage okay so finally you will get the real power okay so then reactive power is taken from the system so this is a reactive power we need to compensate in that uh, uh, AC supply or AC source current okay because so this is a reactive power is needed from that uh, non-linear load so that reactive power going to be supplied from that uh, syntactic filter okay so next you have to take the V alpha V beta di naught 
so here we are going to generate the reference current okay based upon the uh, the final real power under active power requirement of the nonlinear load v alpha v beta and i naught so here you have to calculate the i reference so the i reference here you have to calculate i alpha i beta so based upon v alpha v beta p and q i beta we have to calculate based on v beta v alpha and then p and q okay so next you have to calculate the i reference okay so this i reference so i reference will be calculated based on this i alpha and i beta okay and i naught so finally we will get the reference current so this reference current uh, uh, going to be used for uh, supplying reactive power to the system based upon that reactive power of the uh, nonlinear load so from that is syntactic power filter okay so this rough uh, this reference current going to be compared with the, the current of the so this is a, uh, this is a uh, current of the syntactic filter okay so this syntactic filter current will be compared with the reference current generated from the pk control and then it going to be process a hysteresis control so the hysteresis control will be generate the pulse for this uh, mass put of this uh, h bridge inverter okay so then it will be inject the harmonic uh, that mean uh, compensating current or uh, uh, reactive power to the system in order to make the source current sinusoidal okay so this is known as inductor filter or coupling inductor okay so here you can see that here you can measure the source voltage load current compensation current source current and here you have to measure the THT of the load source and here you, you can measure the capacitor voltage okay so now I am going to simulate this model and we have to check the result of the system so before that I am um, going to store the data so here you can see that this is a capacitor voltage so initially voltage is maintained at 670 volt but here reference voltage we are maintained at 700 so now you can see that this capacitor voltage is keep on charging towards to 700 and also here you will see that right so the source current is sinusoidal load current is non sinusoidal okay because of that uh, non linear uh, load so non linear load is uh, draw only that uh, non sinusoidal current nature okay and then here you can see that source current is sinusoidal okay so why is source current sinusoidal the syntactic filters uh, injecting the compensating current in order to make source current sinusoidal in the system that means the syntactic filter injecting that uh, reactive power right reactive power required uh, by the filter nonlinear load okay so, so that's why the source current is uh, changed to sinusoid okay so this is the working of the syntactic filter so here you can see that clearly so this is a common shooting current so this current will be injected in the system so that's why this is going to change to sinusoidal and also here you will see that is the capacitor voltage is comes to around 700 volt because of the PA controller and here you will see that the THT of the load will be 46.65 and THT of the source current will be 2.8 percent okay so we can see the detail in the FFT window also so here I am going to click FFT window and here you will see that uh, load right so load I am going to check the THT at 0.4 seconds so here we have to take this one so here you will see that uh, the THT around uh, 44.79% okay for load this is for load not source this is for load so next time I am going to take IS so IS THT is around 0.58% so when you have to use Nyquist frequency is around 2.16 percentage okay so normally you have to take same as maximum frequency so is now you can see that the THT around 0 0.58 percentage so for at IL for at na, same as uh, maximum frequency is 44.79 percentage so next time I am going to see the, the that meant THT right of the common session current will be 119.35 percentage that means it will be 
inject that uh, common state in current so when you see after injecting that current right what happened that source current automatically change to sinusoid okay so now we can see that the THD around 0 0.58 percentage and also you can see the detail of a uh, each uh, harmonic order here so here you can see that uh, H3 is 0 0.5 percentage h5 is 0 0.0 and h7 is 0 0.06 okay so percentage is under this level only 0.5 percentage only so here you will see that you will get 0 0.58 percentage the peak amplitude of that source current will be 6.88 amps okay so from that you can see that right uh, that source current is converted into sinusoidal so if you want to check the result without using that uh, uh, syntactic filter right for example i am going to take this out and uh, this one and then you have to check the results now we are not using that uh, that we are not connected syntactic filter you can see that right the load current and source current is having same nature okay so now we can uh, check the tht right now we are going to check the THT. So load is 46 and source also 46 because we are not used that we are not connect, connect that in here you can see that we are, I, I, I was disconnected that the sun active filter in the system. So now I am going to connect this one. and submit this model so now we can see that the source current will change to sinusoidal because the syntactic filter is supplying the compensation current so this compensation current is going to make the source current is sinusoidal so that's why it is uh, sinusoidal nature so now also i'm going to check the tht So load having 46 and IS having 2.45 when you have to change to same as max frequency is around 0 0.47 percentage only. So the source current now changed to sinusoidal and uh, here the harmonic T is to total harmonic distortion, uh, distortion will be reduced in the source side and also the active power is injected in the system according with the requirement of the non-linear load. Thanks for watching our video. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.